Hmm, it's a bit of a strange one. Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Nick at Talking Review. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to see you on our channel. So the fragrance that I'm reviewing today, haven't got a clue if I'm gonna pronounce it correctly, but I'm gonna have a go. Comedy de Garcons 2, sounds like a movie sequel. So this fragrance is inspired by some Japanese art. You have the light side and then you have the, the dark side. And what you have on the light side is all your fruits. And then on the dark side is your inky sort of notes. So what do I get from the fragrance? I don't know really, because I think it's a bit of a weird one. It's a, a fragrance where you can't really pinpoint a specific note. So with me mentioning the ink note, it doesn't lean towards the Creed silver mountain water style of fragrance this is a fresh i'd probably say it's like a greeny sort of tea fragrance i think it would be quite versatile i think it would last through all of the seasons it's not a specific this is a winter one or this is a summer fragrance i couldn't imagine this one getting many compliments to be honest because one i think the performance isn't as strong and it didn't last that long for me anyway it's a nice fragrance but it's nothing that wows me would i purchase it no i wouldn't so yeah uh it's just a, an okay fragrance for me it's not a bottle worthy it's not bad it's just not great drop me a comment down below have you tried any of these fragrances and what was your thoughts don't forget to hit that subscribe button we've got lots of fragrance reviews on the way and I'd love to see some more Fragheads join us. I appreciate you watching guys and hopefully I'll see you soon.